Hello and welcome, this is the project you have at the end of the tutorial. The link will be in the description below to GitHub. And it's a very quick tutorial, there'll be no coding, so let's get into it. When making your backgrounds, make sure to log how big the background is. Here you'll see it's 150 by 550. This tutorial will assume that you're applying it to a game that you've already done. As you can see, I've just got a simple game here of a player moving back and forth and a background scene, there's no other code. I've moved over my free art pieces. These are my own work, so if you want to use them, feel free to. We're going to go to the player object and open it. On your player, I want you to put a camera object. Make sure the camera is current. Then on the camera object, we're going to add in a parallax background. Go to add node. You'll notice it's parallax background, not parallax layer. Make sure you do the background. Now that's done, we're going to add in the layer. Add in the parallax layer. Then on the parallax layer, I want you to add a sprite and we're going to drag in our first sprite. And when you press play, you'll notice that it's not actually working. It just stays in space. So we're going to sort that out now. Because my art piece is really short, we're not going to have Y movement. So we're going to negate that by going to parallax layer, go to motion, and we're going to go to the scale on Y. I'm going to have it as zero. And on X, I'm going to change that to 0 0.1. If you had a background that was much taller, you could make Y 0.1 and that way it would scroll up and down as well as left and right. Now in our mirror, we want to mirror it on the X coordinate. And previously, I know this is 1000 by 50. So I'm going to put in 1050 and you'll notice that it's just mirrored it. So what this does is when your player gets to here, this will mirror again and so on. There'll always be two images in the scene. So if we press play now, you'll see that we've got this weird gray box here and that's because my art is actually quite short you want to make sure your background is at least twice the length of your screen resolution this way you what we're not going to get that weird bounding box however for this tutorial i can fix that and to do that we're going to go to our sprite we're going to go to the offset and we're just not going to make it centered what's really important is just to move it up then i'm going to make sure it's zero two seven two now when we play it should work You'll notice there's no more box here anymore, and this will now loop perfectly forever. Now we know this is working, we can duplicate it. So I want you to press Ctrl D on Parallax layer. And on Sprite, we're going to move in BG2. And as you can see, they're overlapping. We'll go on Parallax layer 2 and press Ctrl D. And on Sprite, we're going to move in BG3. And there we go. So right now, all the values are going to be the same. So as we're moving, this will move the same speed. We want to offset that. We want the picture closest to us to move faster and the picture further away to move slower. So to do that, we're going to go parallax like, say one, that's 0 0.1. So we will know that we want this to be a bit quicker. So let's just make it two. And on the third one, we're going to make it three. Now if we play it, it should have some depth. So as you can see, the black layer is moving quicker, the middle layer a bit slower, and the background the slowest. And it's really that simple. Now you can see when I'm jumping up and down, we're not moving this layer. But as I said, if you want to do that, you'll have to change these values. So that concludes the end of the tutorial. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next one. Just a friendly reminder, uh, this Saturday, we're going to have a game jam. It's in C Sharp for Godot and it's just to help people come over from like Unity and other game engines like, like C Sharp. It's also great for people who are already in C Sharp for Godot and I hope to see you there too. Take care, bye bye.